Imagine your life without electricity. I mean, we're so used to it at this point, it would be hard to live without it. Our food would go bad because we wouldn't have refrigeration. We wouldn't be able to make phone calls and stay connected on the web. And even some cars run off of electricity. But electricity is really complex. We've all seen one of these. This is a plasma ball. We can boil this down to some very simple concepts. Electricity has to do with electrons. That's how it got its name. Now what's happening right here is electrons are streaming through the gas on the inside, making a plasma as they rush out here, and electrons are starting to build up around the outside. Now, I can make a mini capacitor. A capacitor is just something that can hold or store up electrons for a short amount of time. If electrons are rushing around the outside now, they're starting to build up on all of these copper pennies because copper's a good conductor of electricity. I can make an arc of electricity from my stored up electrons all the way here to my finger into these pennies. And it doesn't hurt because it's rushing through the copper, it's spreading out, but this does. I'll do the same thing with just my finger, but I can't hold it there too long, it'll burn through me. See, burn holes in my finger. So this is a really, really small scale. We're building up just a, you know, a few electrons on the top up here. But I've got somebody coming in today that's gonna show us what happens when you have a massive amount of electrons running through copper wire, running through sand, running through all sorts of mediums. It's the world of electricity. And one of the great things as a science teacher is you run into students who are far smarter than you will ever be, and this is one of them. I was always amazed at how much he appreciated electricity and the things that he could just intuitively build out of electricity, which is why he's here today. What you've got is uh, a neon transformer from an old neon sign, mm -hmm. and then coat hangers? Yep. Coat hangers, and there's, they're not touching in any way. So the hope is that the electrons jump across and meet the other side, and we can then see that because yep. what's it doing? It's ionizing the air and creating plasma. So it moves up, why does it move up? Because the heat rises, okay. so it will always move up in air. And I can actually see at the top of this when it goes pop, 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 like heat waves coming off the top. So this is a transformer that lives inside all microwaves, and it's gonna take in the electricity from the wall and do what? Turn 120 volts into 2,000 volts. How many amps? One amp. One amp. The last one was 0.3 amps. Yes. So this is way more, way more close to death than the last one. Oh, yes. All right, well, that's a good thing you're doing it, not me. That's plasma coming across there. Yep. That's just the air being ionized. Being ionized. And it even melted Gosh. the nail. Yeah, it's it did, and there's sparks and everything coming off of it. That's crazy. This is why you don't play with electricity at home, unless you're Quinn. <laughs> <laughs> Normal people, don't, don't do this. You're telling me we can potentially run it through a board, through a piece of wood, and get the electricity to actually travel through wood. Yes. That's what we're gonna try next. Smoking over here. Oh, oh, it's coming down the side right here. It's actually working. Yeah, that's getting a little burny. <laughs> Whoa! That's cool. It worked perfectly. <laughs> Branded this thing using electricity. You scrubbed it with some water and some baking soda ahead of time so that it'd be nice and conductive on the outside. And you can see those fractal patterns were just burned out across there. Quinn has taken the transformer and run it through a piece of steel into some fine-grained silica sand. And the idea is that the electricity, that plasma, should extend far enough that then the plasma will run through the sand. And as it arcs across there, it melts the sand and turns it into glass because How's glass made? Heating up sand. Heating up sand. So we're gonna make some glass. This is like bonus. You can see it stretching out across there. You see that? It's like a glow underneath the sand. Yeah, look, it's coming up to the top. Dude. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at.
That's glass. That's glass. Glass. I'm gonna break it. Ready? Yeah. Look at that. Look at that, right in the middle. See that? Nice work. Thanks. Cool. Nice. Well, thanks for watching. To see the latest from FLIR, click on subscribe or come on over to the channel and check out all the amazing things that Infrared is showing us.